The angle of elevation of the top of the CN tower from the point of view of boat A is 18 degrees, while the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the point of view of boat B is 12 degrees. If the height of CN tower is 553 meters and the boats and the base of the tower lie on a straight line, 1. Write down the equation of the line joining the top of the CN tower and boat A. 2. Write down the equation of the line joining the top of the CN tower and boat B. 3. Using the equations found in parts 1 and 2 of this problem, compute the distance between the boats. You may remember that we have solved similar questions in the past using trigonometric ratios. Now we're going to use this problem using the equations of lines. We could solve this problem using trig ratios as well. If this is the CN tower and this is the water level, then boat A is closer to the tower than boat B because the angle of elevation for, for boat A is greater. So we would have boat A here. And the angle of elevation is 18 degrees and the height of the tower is 553 meters. We would like to write the equation of the line connecting point A and point T which is the point at the top of the tower. It would be this line. To write down the equation of a line you need to have a coordinate system in advance. Since there is no coordinate system given in this problem, you need to choose a coordinate system on your own. We can choose the coordinate system to be where boat A is. We can choose it at the base of the tower. We can choose it at the top of the tower. We can choose it to be where point B is or um, many other choices. All of these choices are correct but some of them may be easier than the other ones when it comes to the algebra. I am going to choose the base of the tower to be the center of the coordinate system. The x-axis, therefore, will be along the water and the y-axis will be going through the CN tower. So this is the y-axis and that was the x-axis. Now I have the coordinates of the point T. This point lies on the y-axis. Therefore the x-component of point T is 0. And the y-component would be the height of the tower which is 553. I do not have the coordinates of any other point on this line but I have the slope of this line because I know that the slope of this line would be the tangent of the angle of elevation which is 18 degrees. It is not hard to see why the tangent of the angle of elevation represents the slope. The slope is rise over run but that is nothing but the tangent of this angle which happens to be, in our problem, the angle of elevation. Tangent of 18 degrees is almost 0.325. When I have one point and the slope, I use the point slope form of the equation of a line to write down the equation. The point slope form is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. m is the slope, x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the point. If I sub into this equation the appropriate values for x1, y1 and m, I have y minus y1 553 is equal to m point three two five times x minus x one which is zero. 
we can simplify this equation, move 553 to the other side of the equation, and we will have y is equal to 0.325x plus 553. This is the equation of the line passing through both A and the top of the tower. Now let's look at boat B. Boat B is further from the tower such that the angle of elevation for boat B is 12 degrees. It's a smaller angle. We can use the same procedure to write down the equation of the line connecting point T and point B. This is the line. The coordinates of point T are 0 and 553 as we discussed before and the slope of the line connecting the points T and B is equal to the tangent of 12 degrees which is the angle of elevation from the point of view of boat B. This is approximately equal to point 0.213. Using the point slope form of the equation of a line we have y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. We can take minus 553 to the other side of the equation and we can simplify the equation to be 0.213x plus 553. This is the equation of the line connecting point B or boat B and the top of the tower. Now we can look at the third part of this problem. We have the two equations for the two lines involved in this question. In order to find the distance of point A and point B, we can find the coordinates of these points. We note that at point A, the y-coordinate is 0, because point A lies on the x-axis. At point B, the y-coordinate is also 0, because point B also lies on the x-axis. Therefore, we can say that at point A, y is equal to 0. But A belongs to the line which connects A and T. The equation for that line was y is equal to 0.325x plus 553. If point A is on this line, the coordinates of point A must satisfy this equation. Therefore, if we put y equal to 0 in this equation, we can find the x-coordinate of point A from this new equation. This is a linear equation. I can take 553 to the other side and then divide both sides by 0.325. I would get xA which is the x-coordinate of point A, is equal to minus 553 divided by 0.325. And this is approximately equal to minus 1,702 meters. Similarly, at point B, y is equal to 0 as well. But point B lies on the line connecting the point B and point T. The equation for that line was y is equal to 0.213x plus 
plus 5, 5, 3. If point B is going to lie on this line, the coordinates of this point must satisfy this equation. Therefore, if I put y equal to 0, then I can find the x-coordinate of point B. I can solve this equation for xB to find that it is equal to minus 553 divided by 0.213, which is approximately minus 2,596 meters. Let's now look at the x-coordinate. Here is the zero where the base of the tower lies. Point A has the x-coordinate to be minus 1,702 meters. And point B has the x-coordinate to be minus 2,000 596 meters. The distance between these two points, which I call by D, can be found with the information we have right now on the x-axis. D will be equal to x of point A, which is the point on the right-hand side, minus x of point B, which is the point on the left-hand side. Now, xA is minus 1,702 meters minus xb, which is minus 2,596 meters. This is equal to 894 meters. This is the distance between the boats A and B.